What's going on? Let's check out Asset Bay, which is an app in Webflow designed to help you manage your asset metadata very easily. We can see we have the alt text field here. And so I could say something like a black chair in a large minimalist room. And then I can tab through and start working on other alt text right within the same window, a spiral building. But this is not very good alt text. We can actually use AI to make it even better. You can see here that anything with the yellow border actually has a change that still needs to be recorded. And if I actually wanted to record that, I'd have to select it. So I would select these two and click Save Selected. But I don't really want to save these yet. So instead, I'm going to press AI for Selected. And that's done. And we can see we've got some very descriptive alt text here for these two images. So what I can go ahead and do now is click Save Selected. And we see that's working. And then if we close out of this and refresh Webflow, we can go ahead and check that that alt text has been saved. Heading back to our asset manager now, if we open up this chair, we can see that we have some descriptive alt text in here, as well as for this spiral building. So let's go ahead and see what other features the app has. If you want to work super fast, you can just click select 10 without alt text up here, and that'll select the next 10 pictures that don't have any alt text applied to them. And what you can do, we can see we have 13 credits left here. So I have 10 selected. I'm going to hit AI for selected and do 10 here. And those are all going to populate at whatever speed they can. We can see we have three credits left, but I can go ahead and save selected and that's gonna save them all. And while those are saving, I could even work on the file name here. So like a uh, triangle building, if I wanted to rename all my file names and this is wave building, just like this. And then don't forget, we need to select these and click save. Now it doesn't take any credits to save. It only takes credits to use AI. And if you select the next 10 and you don't have enough credits, we see here it says not enough credits. We can go ahead and click buy credits. And buy credits gives us the option to buy 100 for $5 or 500 for $20. And then you'll also notice that my Patreon subscriber get additional benefits. The benefits for Patreon subscribers are that instead of 15 credits for every site that you start, you get 100. So a lot more credits just to start off. And then you can also select 25 assets at once instead of 10. So really nice perks for our Patreon subscribers. Now let's assume this next batch of 10 images was just decorative elements and stuff that doesn't need alt text. And for that, we can just click decorative for selected. When we set asset alt text to be decorative, we see a placeholder decorative here in all capital letters, but the actual alt text that's set is just one space character. And this is okay if you click buy credits, you can read the documentation on alt text at this note right here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then I would of course save selected and we can close out of this and click refresh. And now if we open up our asset library and come down to one of these pictures right here, we can see that there's just a single space for our alt text here. So Webflow doesn't give us the option through their API to set this decorative property right here, but it's okay per the docs to just set one space as empty alt text. One limitation right now with the Webflow API is that we can't save empty alt text. So if I were to select this alt text here and then select the element and click save, We'll see it looks like it's saved, but if I go ahead and close out of this and then just reopen, then the alt text has come back. So if you want to delete alt text, you actually need to do that through the asset library right here, unfortunately. The very last thing to note is that if you do indeed buy credits and then you come back to the app, you need to click this refresh credits button to see your updated credits. So let's say you've gone ahead and purchased 100 credits through Stripe on the link in buy credits, and then you just click refresh credits you should see that this updates to 103 right here for your AI credits. Now the AI works pretty well with anything that is just like a normal picture or an image, but in my testing for things like logos and common little icons on websites, the AI is not working so well yet. All right, that's all there is to it. Let me know how you like the app. Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.